Yo, what is going on, Sexy Sam? I'm just going to do it here doing a spectator video, and I got my friend J2B in here, and you guys might know J2B, but what you didn't know about J2B is he is a 27-star Scylla main. That's right, 27 stars. He's fighting a Vulcan. I think this is a good matchup for Scylla. I could be wrong, because later on, Scylla gets a little, uh, a little boost of Ruski, if you will, because whenever Vulcan places the turret, Scylla can simply press one and it will uh, automatically attach also to the Vulcan because once Scylla's one is ranked five, it's AOE and his three units. It's pretty sick. All right, JTB chose to go with the Aegis. By the way, we're going to do um, this kind of spectating view today because I saw a lot of guys in the, the comments last time in the spectating video were kind of 50-50 on whether they wanted this kind of view or the bird's eye view, um, because they said that I was getting more knowledge than the player. So, you know, it's fine. What a weird play by the Vulcan. Why is, what is, what is happening here? By the way, Scylla, or JTB, our pro tag, he is starting, oh, that doesn't kill turret, yikes. He is starting Warlock Staff, which is a very good item, and the Vulcan is starting Chronos Pendant. Vulcan already using his mana pot. And if you start Chrono Spending, you can only get one of each. So Vulcan already using his mana pot. And still contesting. This doesn't make sense. Oh, J2B. J2B with the with the the horn shard. Pops all pops his horn shard and all of his abilities at the same time, securing the buff. But you live through this, right? You live through this? No, okay. All right. All right. Honestly, this isn't bad. It might look bad, but it's not bad because J2B, he's got the health pot ticking. Vulcan's got the health pot ticking too, but J2B's got the blue buff. And Vulcan can't do red. He doesn't have enough. Enough HP, enough mana, whatever. Nice that two actually killed turret. Wasting, essentially just straight up wasting Vulcan's mana. Okay. Gigantic whiff by J2B. <laughs> but Vulcan, no mana. Oh! All right, get him. Get his ass. Get his ass. Okay. Nice. Nice. Are you going to do the red? You're going to greet it? You're greeting it. He ulted it. That's my boy. <laughs> That's my boy. Use the ult. I'm, I'm desperately fighting the urge to go up in the air right now. Vulcan is doing his blue buff, which is... Obviously, what you go on to do when you uh, when you just die, you respawn. He's going to get the XP for the minions at his tower and then probably go to the XP camp. Um, Vulcan decided to go for... By the way, I know you guys can't see, but Vulcan has an Aegis and a Horn Shard, in case you're wondering. Um, Vulcan decided to go for the, eight, or the HP Chalice, whereas J2B got one of each pot and a Warlock Staff finished, thanks to the help of the, the First Blood. Little bonus to the gold. JTB is going to contest. He doesn't have his two up though, so there's no point in really doing this. I think he's more so just looking for the fight. And he lands the one. Where's the two? Oh, he held the two to break the turret at the same time. What a genius. What an actual genius. Vulcan altered the wave. A genius of his own regard. All right. You're getting, you're getting prime Vulcan here. Kited with turret. Oh, missed the one. Missed the two? Oh, no. You have to run. Just run. Oh. Ah! Okay. Okay. Vulcan has Aegis. Scylla has Aegis. Oh, Jesus. Oh, nice. Oh, the Aegis and the two. Nice. Well played, big detonate. All right, how much gold do you have? Let's look at stats here. We have 1,300 gold. You're probably buying tier two Genjis. Exactly, tier two Genjis. And this Vulcan finished Chronos Pendant. He still has 550 gold in hand. He didn't even buy chalices. He, he didn't even buy potions. J2B didn't buy potions either, but I don't think J2B had any gold in hand. 
but already having tier two defense two, tier two defense means j2b is at a huge advantage in this fight although i will say he just missed all of his abilities and vulcan is hitting everything never mind he missed everything right good clear oh you want to get aggro huh Oh no, you're just you're feigning aggression by putting your three there. Good play. I like that play. A little aggr aggression feign. Getting the timer on the blue buff. Vulcan, less than half mana. J2B's J2B wants him to back here because it means he gets an uncontested red buff. Alright, Vulcan. Missed the turret. Okay, good Aegis. Good Aegis. You don't want to get slapped by uh Oh nice! Turret dead. And killed the backline. Good horn shard. Gonna give him what he needs in order to clear this red buff. I don't think Vulcan's gonna stop his back to stop it. Good stuff. J2B does have his two maxed out now. What is Vulcan maxing? Vulcan is maxing the one and then the turret. So the turret's gonna be a, a little pain in the tuchus. Vulcan going Kronos Pendant straight into Rod of Tabuti. And JTB having the Genjis. All right. It's not bad, honestly. We're looking okay right now. I really like what JTB is doing. I don't think he's he's done anything bad. Obviously, he's missed a lot of abilities. But like I, I've said before, you can't you can't count on not missing abilities. You know, like you're you're going to miss. It's just going to happen. But I like his build choice. He doesn't have uh, a lot of cooldown. Like Genjis gives a little bit, but. Okay, that alt was... That alt was crazy psycho. Almost like crazy psychologies. Vulcan going straight into Rod is a little crazy. Wait, are you going straight in? No, you're going Chronos Pendant for sure. For sure, Scylla's going Chronos Pendant here. I really like the Scylla build, though. I think Warlock Staff is kind of uh, slept on right now. I think it's a lot better of an item than a lot of people think. And I think it is actually worth building potentially in duel. Obviously, there's a lot of gods that need Chronos Pendant. There's a lot of gods that need Bancrofts. But if you can get away with building Warlock Staff and being a little greedy early, it's it's really good. JTB is manhandling this Vulcan at the moment, by the way. All right, just clearing wave, taking a tower shot to clear the wave. Decent place. Okay, you're getting slapped by a turret. That turret is being maxed, so it is chunky. Your one is not going to kill it. Your two might not even kill it, to be honest with you. All right, Vulcan has Rod. Vulcan can chunk. Like, J2B's got to be careful, man. He's just going for the red. Or the, uh, the, the blue, I mean. I don't know why he horn sharded there. The only reason you ever horn shred there is if you want to fight after. That was a, a waste. He does have his one maxed now, which means the Vulcan's turret is going to be a detriment to him, not actually a help. Because now he can... Uh, now J2B can just focus on hitting the turret with his one, which obviously cannot juke. <laughs> Vulcan spamming the Furious emote coming to lane. Oh my god. This Vulcan is taking dick. Oh. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Exactly like I said, man. The Vulcan's going to place the turret. JTB's going to hit the turret with his one. And it's just going to it's just going to aggro to the Vulcan as well. Vulcan finally going defense. I think going rod second was really greedy, especially when you're behind by a thousand gold. Granted when he went when he decided to go rod, he was only down one kill. But you know, a lot has changed. Yeah, your two your your two doesn't even kill turret by itself. You didn't take that dash? Oh you're just gonna you're just gonna one two combo. Yeah. Vulcan can kill here if he, he lands a, a well timed meatball. He just stopped. <laughs> he just they just stopped. <laughs> All right. JTB's dying. JTB's dying. 
Vulcan. Oh no. Oh no. Meatball again. Oh. Close. Vulcan. Don't do it. You're freaking me out, bro. Oh my god. J2B, you greedy son of a bitch. I can't believe it worked out for you. Oh my god. Okay. All right. J2B goes to Chronos Pendant, exactly like I said, going into Rod now, which makes sense. Vulcan has the Genji. Vulcan has defense now, so... Although I will say, that was a massive power spike for J2B. He got two kills before backing just now, I think. That was that was a huge, huge, huge kill. Oh, J2B just wants to fight. He got that Chronos Pendant. He wants to fight. Oh, Blink. I didn't even see he had Blink, but he does. And uh, Vulcan bought Horrific. Why did he buy Horrific? What the heck? Oh, you missed. Vulcan, it's time to turret. Oh, the Jukes. Oh, my God. Boom, the 360 ult into the Aegis on the Vulcan ult into the Surrender. Oh, my God. <laughs> That was so many inputs so fast. Can I go back? I want to go back. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, it's not. It's broken. Yeah, yeah I want to watch this fight again. Okay. Look at, look at how many inputs this is. Hold on. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. Okay, look at, look at, look at that. Look at that. The 20... The 20 degree turn to place the three. Dash in. He gets meatballed here. Yeah, that, that the meatball sucks. All right. And then he's like, okay, connect the one. Drop the two. Detonate the two. You're pressing your one, your two twice. You're with the auto attack weave. 360 alt. Boom. Into the Aegis. Aegis before his alt animation even fully ended. That's insane. Into the surrender. I can't believe it. That was a quality game. Let's go, J2B. You're going to have some fans in chat now. You're going to have some fans in the comments section. Let's go. Warlock staff. Genji's Kronos Rod. That's a generic, very powerful Scylla build. Like it, it, it has a lot of power and survivability with it. I will say, I think this Vulcan would have had a better time if he built Genji's before Rod. Like, if he went Chronos Pendant, Genji's Rod, and then maybe, like, um... Not necessarily a Divine. Maybe a Staff of Mirrodin after that. Yeah, Chronos Pendant, Genji's Rod, Staff of Mirrodin, and this Vulcan just demolishes. It's a good matchup for Scylla, don't get me wrong, because obviously, like you saw in the matchup, in the game, that turret is a huge detriment to Vulcan, but... It is possible if you just don't use your two while you know Scylla has one. And if you have more cooldown anyways, then, I mean, it makes sense that you can just hold your two a little bit and it's it'll work out. But either way, it was a really fun game. Thank you, J2B, for playing for me. I really appreciate it. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you guys are an extraordinary player, you have a ton of stars on a random god, that's not played too often or you're like 3000 MMR and you main freaking, I don't know, a Wheelix or something in duel, reach out to me. I would love to spectate a match. It'd be really fun. And uh, until next time, guys, peace.